Okay, Clive, we moved on to the teleporter, one of the most common items of plant used in the construction site. Tell us about the safety features involved with this machine. Okay, there's uh, many safety features that we will go through in, in the next uh, few minutes. Uh, just, just to maybe start at the Fox, a few things that we'll be looking out for is to ensure that these locking plins are correctly in place uh, on the carriage plate. Uh, sometimes we will notice uh, that these buttons get, get broken or sometimes that these might be twisted like so and uh, then this can slide left or right. There's a stop end which is very, very important also. Uh, I, I, I've seen in the past where Fox uh, have slid off because this little stop end is not in place and, and that, that is a problem for, for people if it falls on your foot. The forks themselves, uh, when these are certified, they are checked uh, for thicknesses uh, and, and for cracks, but also it's very, very important that there is no bins on the top of the forks. Uh, for whatever reason, sometimes people alter the top of the forks where a hole may be cut out with um, oxyacetylene and um, the, 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 this can be used uh, maybe to move, uh, to, uh, to facilitate a ball hitch, uh, to maybe move some, some equipment uh, around the site. Um, this, this interferes with the integrity of the fox and, and, and is not, is not uh, acceptable. You can also see here by the detail on the sticker on the side of the machine, this machine has been certified earlier on this year. Uh, if a teleporter has to be used uh, to lift material, it must be certified uh, every 12 months. Okay, if, if a machine is to be used for lifting people, then the teleporter must be certified every six months, but the controls must be in the basket. So therefore, uh, it must be an integrated man basket uh, rather than uh, the controls from the operator in the cab. As you can see here uh, on the certification, uh, it, it explains see load charts in cab. So if you can have a look here, please, uh, we have what we call load charts and this explains that the machine can lift uh, different loads at different angles and different radiuses so the operator must be very familiar with these load charts uh, while carrying out his day-to-day -day work. Another item to consider where uh, there are wheels is the safe pumping of tyres. Many, many places uh, would have the nozzle in this hand and the gauge in this hand so while pumping the tyre I'm right beside the wall of the tyre. In the event of the tyre bursting, uh, this could be very serious. While entering the machine uh, for safe access, uh, we have three, we maintain three points of contact. So there's one, there's two, and here's number three. And we put on our seatbelt, check our mirrors, key into the ignition. While exiting the machine, we put up our left hand, so I cannot pass out my hand, and we maintain three points of contact exiting the machine also. We're at the rear of the machine now. Visibility has always been an issue about these machines. Tell us about the features of this particular machine. Okay, in this particular model of telescopic handler, uh, there's a mirror on the left hand side. Uh, we have two mirrors here off to the right hand side. We've got a convex mirror to the rear. And also on this particular model, we have a reverse camera. Uh, the advantage of having the reverse camera, again, is if it's a very dusty environment or if it's uh, raining quite heavily, it's very difficult to see out through, through the mirror at the, at the back of the machine. Therefore, the camera uh, shows clearer visibility. Uh, sometimes when the boom is raised, it is very difficult to use the mirrors on the right hand side because your vision is blocked. So therefore, the reverse camera and the convex mirror here are a big plus to assist in our own visibility. So now I'm going to start the machine and I'm just going to demonstrate how the quick attach system works and uh, some safety features uh, that need to be put in place uh, so, so the system can, can be worked correctly. So now what I'm going to do is um, I'm just going to push down on the button here. That's to open it and then to lock it again. I push it back, but the really, really important part of this is that I turn off this switch. If I do not turn off this switch, this section here is live and an operator uh, could take off an attachment by accident. This machine, uh, we have uh, body props 
for, for fitters when they are carrying out maintenance underneath the boom section of this machine, it is really, really important that the body prop system is put in place prior to any maintenance being carried out. So we take out this pin on top, take out the pin in the bottom, and we go around and we put it onto the boom section. When it's in place and we lower it down to the bottom of the ramp, then we drop the boom section really, really slowly, uh, therefore uh, ensuring that it is secured in place.